This is example number five, and we will find an equivalent spring constant for a bar suggested to an actual loop. We have three step bar that are fixed to one end and subjected to an actual load at the other end. If we have three bars and each bar has a length i, so bar one has length one, bar two has length two, and bar three has length three. And they have cross sectional area A1, A2, and A3. They are all the same material, therefore the young modulus for all of them are the same. So we want to find the equivalent constant in the actual direction. Remember that we saw in the theory for a bar subjected to actual load with a length L and a cross-sectional area A and a young modulus O, the equivalent K will be equals to A times E divided by L. Please look at the theory because we did an example to uh, deduct that equation. Since we have three bars, one following the next one, we will have a system equivalent as if we would have three spring in series. And we want to find the equivalent constant for those three springs in series. We will use the formula that we know for equivalent springs in series, which is the inverse of the equivalent constant is equals to the inverse of each of the individual constants. And then we can take out the young modules because we have the same material, and then we have L1 over A1, L2 over A2, and L3 over A3. If we do the algebra and we take the inverse of these three uh, fractions, we get the following result. E times the three areas, A1, A2, and A3, divided by the three terms, L1, A2, A3, plus L2, A1, A3, plus L3, A1, A2. And this is the equivalent spring constant for a bar suggested to axial load.